Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be testing my accuracy with this Palmer 80 uh, Glock 43 that I have built. It's got the Holosun 507K uh, on it. Um, I'm going to be shooting this at 50 yards. Um, I had done this test, I think about two months ago, with the uh, um, with the uh, Palmer 80 uh, Glock 26, and at 50 yards on an uh, 11 by 8 paper, I was getting about 50% accuracy. Okay, now I've already done this test at 50 yards on 11 by 8 paper with this Glock 43, and I can't hit it. Okay, so I already know that I cannot hit it um, an 8 by 11 paper at 50 yards. And I don't think it's the gun. I just I think it's me. It's my ability to control the smaller gun, um, uh, you know, to get a firm grip on it. With the uh, the Glock 26, even though it's the same size, it's it's thicker. It allows me to grip it a little bit more easy. Uh, this is a little bit smaller. Uh, it's a lot more comfortable for me to carry, especially if I'm sitting in the car. Uh, but when it comes to actual shooting, uh, yeah, the, the Glock 26 is an easier gun for me to shoot. So, uh, and, and again, I, I, this is just a matter of. You know being familiar getting to know my capabilities okay so i'm not even saying that somebody else wouldn't be able to shoot this gun better uh it's just that you know i'm kind of testing what i can do with the gun i mean i know what my capabilities are let's say with a with the, with the glock 17 with a glock 19 uh you know and with the glock 26 uh, like i said at 50 yards 8 by 11 paper uh about 50 percent hits from a bench position so uh, let's test this out since i already know that i have such a hard time hitting and um, 11 by 8 paper I'm putting this box out there and I'm going to be aiming at the center of this box so let's get this out to 50 yards Got that box now at 50 yards. Uh, let me just get behind the camera real quick, make sure you guys can see. Me. Yeah, you guys can see pretty good. So, this is from a benched position. Normally I keep this in dot in circle only mode. It's got the 32 M way circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to dot only mode. See if I can find it. This has got a tiny button up instead. Hold on. I actually just dimmed it rather than switching. Okay, now I got circle plus dot. Okay, now I got dot only. All right, so. I'll make, make it easier for me to make sure I have it centered. Get it down just a little bit. Alright, six shots. Let's go take a look, see what I got.
actually, I believe that was seven shots because I had one in the chamber. So, but seven shots at 50 yards. I've got one, two, three, four. Four hits. And it looks like, no, actually, that might have been, yeah, the bottom of the pit. So, I got four hits. Uh, four out of seven, so a little, just a tiny little bit better than 50%. Okay, so I did this three additional times off of camera. I just want to get a measure of this box that we're working with here. So we've got uh, roughly two feet. Uh, 16 inches. So basically we've got 23 inches. Uh, by 16 inches is the thickness of the box. Okay, so it's basically about the width of a man's shoulders. Um, so that, that's what target is. So uh, the first time uh, I had seven rounds in the magazine because I was carrying it with an extra round in the chamber and I got four out of seven hits. Um, off camera, I, I, I went and I did it again. Um, the second time I did it, um, I guess I was a little too cocky because I didn't get any hits, okay? Um, I, I was probably shooting a little too fast, thinking, hey, I'm going to get at least 50% hits. I got zip, okay? So, really important, uh, to get that 50%, you've got to try hard, right? you got to make sure that that's on target. Uh, you really got to manage your trigger squeeze. you got to make sure you're, you're, you're holding the gun firmly, okay? Because, you, you, you know, you, will, you can definitely get zero hits, or I, I can definitely get zero hits. The third time that I did it, all right, because uh, remember the first ones were the ones I had circled, right? So we had one, two, one, two, three, four. The circles were the first, the first round. Second round was no hits. The third round was the squares, right? One, two, three. So I, I had these three hits, three out of six hits, right? Because I'm, I'm just I'm just filling up the magazine. I'm not putting an extra round in the chamber. So three three out of six hits, and then the fourth time. Again, six round magazine. I got one, uh, where are you? One, two, three, four. Okay, one, I must miss that one. One, two, three, four. Okay, so um, if I try hard, I can get about 50% hits. Okay, so uh, so that's that's today's lesson for me, right? Um, and, and again, this is, you know, me teaching me, you know, me trying to figure out my capabilities uh, at 50 yards. I can at least lay down suppressive fire uh, from a bench position, uh, and I have to try really hard. Okay, I can't just 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 throw bullets in that direction and expect to hit anything. Uh, it's not like I'm hitting any, you know, trying to shoot something at the um, at the 20 yards or you know, or seven yards. At 50 yards with this gun, with this Glock 43, with the uh, with the Hollow Sun 507K, uh, I have to try really hard. Um, to get about 50% hits from a benched position at 50 yards. Okay, so I know that, let's say, because I can, you know, 50 yards is something that you can kind of judge, you know, with your eyes. Um, at 75 yards, I know that I, I really don't have a good chance of getting hits at 75 yards if I'm trying this hard just to get, you know, 50% hits at, at 50 yards. So at, at 75 yards, um, I should be definitely looking for other options, okay? Um, so yeah, that's the purpose of this test. I can see now that I can consistently hit, get 50% hits on a man-sized target at 50 yards if I try really hard from a benched position. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.